Hey guys, so I'm back on uh, a sun grow site that I installed well, probably a year or two ago now. Um, it, this site features in one of my earlier YouTube videos as it was my first sun grow system. Um, but I'm back on site because the inverters failed and um, SunGrove provided us with a replacement. Um, I don't actually know what is wrong with this inverter. Um, it did have a few ongoing issues uh, where it would shut down about once every month um, of which I emailed SunGrow support um, but I would always um, sort of just the, the chain of emails would just eventually fade and nothing really changed and I didn't really get the support from SunGrow that I was uh, hoping for and the problem was never resolved um, there was just a series of fluffy meaningless emails really um, so when this system failed I was actually remote so I couldn't ring SunGrow so my client rang SunGrow uh, they logged into the site remotely and uh, decided that the inverter had failed um, and um, activated a, a warranty process which is great but I'm now on site to do the replacement and I don't actually know what's wrong with this inverter why it's failed what went wrong um, I've just got this one to install which was delivered to my clients house so that's kind of frustrating because I'd like to know what is actually going on so I'll give SunGrow a call Hopefully I'll get someone in Australia and not overseas and um, I can make heads and tails of what's actually going on. Um, it's great that SunGrove supplied this, but um, the downside to this sort of thing is that for me as a contractor, I believe SunGrow will reimburse me $160 um, to replace this. However, that nowhere near covers the cost for me as an electrical contractor to to do this job. It's about um, taking in consideration travel and then time spent emailing and then time spent organising the return of the faulty inverter. You could easily say it's going to be at least a day. So for me that's about $1200 loss um, to do the right thing by my client. <laughs> I could just say to him, oh yeah, look, it's under warranty, but you'll have to find someone else to come and swap it over. I'm too busy, but that's not how I work. I, I come and do it. Um, but I have got a, a gripe with this whole warranty and uh, RMA uh, process. And um, yeah, because it is, it does weigh heavy on us solar contractors when you don't get adequate support from the manufacturer. My opinion is they should have a, a field technician or a subcontractor that is paid appropriately to come and do these sort of swap overs um, especially when the system's online and they can see it online because they've got all the information they can see that the system has been working adequately and correctly since the day of install and now all of a sudden it's failed so it's not installer error it's product um, failure and um, the manufacturer should adequately support the client and the contractor that is supporting them so that's my opinion um, but it's something we deal with as contractors yes I could build the cost of a call out into every job I sell but then that money just goes back into an account which is eventually swallowed up as you know a small business does um, so yeah keep that in mind guys if you are um, in the solar industry and providing products uh, that you will eventually get called to replace them. So I only use premium products. Not sure I'd put SunGrow in that category. Um, it's a very good quality product, but I'm not sure I'd call it a premium product, to be honest. Um, but that's open to interpretation from everyone's uh, individual experiences with, with the manufacturer. That's just my opinion. So, um, yeah, I'll swap this over now. And... Um, yeah, at least we've got the support of SunGrow and we've got a replacement inverter. If it was a, a lesser manufacturer like freaking GrowWatt or something like that, I'd, we'd be lucky to even get a replacement inverter. They would typically give you the runaround um, for that long that you just get worn out and give up and just, you know, fork out the replacement yourself, um, which is another 
another YouTube video I'll go into at a later date. So uh, there you go guys, that's what's happening with this one. I'll catch you later.